Hey guys, this is uh, Henrik from Uni Riders, and I have some really, really exciting stuff to show you today. Yesterday, I got my KS16 directly from Kingsong, and uh, we had a good unpacking, unboxing session, a first ride. And right now, I would take an opportunity to show you a little bit about the device, how it actually works, and uh, and all of the stuff that you're getting with this new unit. And uh, to be honest, I'm really, really impressed with this. This is basically what 9bot should have done with the Model P but uh, they unfortunately did not have um, have it in a way so, so they could put it to market but I think Kingson did a really really fantastic job about listening to the customer and actually figuring out where they could improve the product so this is the Kingson KS16 and uh, if I turn it on Hello Kingson it has this voice that tells you stuff, what's going on. It can also tell you something about if the Bluetooth is connected or not. And this is a big, big uh, difference uh, compared to the previous uh, model, the KS14, 14, 14 inch wheel, is that uh, this one actually is very easy to handle in terms of uh, Bluetooth. Bluetooth connectivity is really good. It's unfortunately the new app is uh, not out yet. But uh, according to Kingsong, it will be very soon. Um, that would allow you to adjust different stuff on, on the unicycle. But um, so right now you have to settle with the one that's actually available in, in the store. And uh, to take a closer look at the unit, you can see it has a light here. It has a light here and it has a fancy function. Can't see that in the sunlight, but when it runs forward, this one is the front light. And it, when it runs this way, this one is the front light. So it actually switches the light direction depending on the way you ride. Uh, it has nice solid pedals. That is, it's a little bit tight, but it's okay. I think it can be adjusted. It has this nice, let turn it off, anti-stick material on the, on the, the footrest. So your, your feet are staying nice and, uh, and comfortable there. It has something that was really annoying with the old model. It has like a cap, rubber cap that goes on top of the charging port, which is really, really, really nice to protect it from rain and stuff. And it also has this integrated handlebar, which I find is a very, very good solution. So when you have it like that, it just folds out and you can just put it in again like that. And then it's nice and secure. And as you can see, you can easily lift it there's no problem, it's, it's really solid when it's in there. It has to be seen how it reacts once the wheel has been tossed around. I think maybe maybe it can be damaged, but, but as it is right now, it actually feels quite uh, good and secure. There's speakers, built-in Bluetooth speakers. There's the side cushion, which is nicely shaped to follow your, it's curved like that. So it does not have these sharp edges that you have seen in some of the competing products. So it feels really nice and comfortable when you ride it. Also the battery that is indicated in the same way as 9 uh, with these indicators out here. There were some previous models where they had a battery indicator on the top, but they, they have somehow have skipped that. And I actually prefer this, uh, that you can see it on these um, LEDs. And you can also see it on the app. So that, that's basically no, uh, no problem. So in general, I have a very good impression of this unit. I think it's really, really nice. I think they've done a nice job. It has a maximum speed of uh, 30 kilometers an hour. It's being delivered with a 20 kilometer an hour uh, default setting, but it can be unlocked if you per, you know, get a code from uh, Kingsong that will help you unlock it through the app. And that also works with the app that's available right now. So once it's unlocked, you can you can set the uh, the different alarms. There's three alarms that can be set, and also the position where the pedal starts to kick back that can be set independently. And I have chosen for this model to put the first alarm at 25 kilometers an hour, the next one at 28, and the third one at 30, together with the tilt back function. That should give me plenty of speed when I'm cruising around. So. Let's see what's, what else to show you guys. Let's uh, I turn it off. You can see there's this, the, the diode that actually 
it senses the light or the light sensor that the, that uh, figures out when it's dark enough to uh, to turn on the light. And this can uh, I haven't tried it because the app is not available for me. Uh, it can be adjusted through the app, so it's not so complicated as it was uh, in the previous version where you had to do some sort of uh, key combinations uh, to or long press uh, and stuff like that to make it work. So that has uh, been very easy. It's it's really really nice to ride this unit. It's it feels stable. It, it feels fast. Also, uh, when I first original, originally bought the KS fourteen C, I had a hard time adjusting from the nine nine bots hard riding mode to the more soft feel that you get from Kingston. And um, but it seems they have made it stiffer. It's not as stiff as nine bot, but it's closer, a lot closer, and it's still super comfortable to ride. Uh, so plenty of power plenty of battery i think in general it's really really nice product the bad stuff because there's always something that you need to point out but the one thing that surprised me a little bit it's it's a tiny bit more noisy than the, the normal king sound it has an integrated fan is, which basically helps to cool the electronics this increases of course the noise level also this high pitch noise from the switching electronics is, is a tad higher but it's something that you get fairly used to uh, once you have uh, used it for, for, for a short while regarding the cooling fan that's a good solution because as you probably know we had a lot of accidents around the internet with MOSFET burnouts when you do these rapid accelerations or decelerations I think a cooling fan would be a, a good solution to that. Of course it adds a mechanical part that can break but hopefully Kingsung has taken uh, care of that so you will get an alert if, uh, if uh, the fan somehow fails. But I can see when I'm looking at the temperatures in the app I don't have a direct comparison but my feeling is that it is, it is at least 10 to 15 degrees colder than it was uh, without the, the cooling fan on, on, the, on my previous model. So. Uh, another thing that I want to point out is, as I also pointed out, these are a little bit uh, hard to get up and down, so, so you can't just unfold them while you're riding. I think it's a matter of, of adjusting. Um, also, uh, somebody mentioned to me the, the, this, the, the level of this mechanical voice that uh, could be a little bit annoying. It also says uh, decrease your speed if you get to the upper limit. Please decelerate. But I learned from Tina from Kingston that uh, this can actually be turned off with the new app uh, once they release that. So you can uh, take away this uh, voice. That Riding light on the side. Let's see if I move it. The LEDs also move. Like uh, you know from, from 9 volt. So. I want to show you guys is the pedal height and how it fits to your foot. You see it's very nice. Don't have any my knuckle is just or what it's called just sliding below the, the cushion so so it's very comfortable. If I can just turn it around. That so you can see it from the side. Very nice. This is basically my review of uh, of the Kingston KS60, and uh, I would take it out for a little spin now and uh, and enjoy the good weather. Thank you.